In the areas they control, the Taliban have established local courts known for their rapid resolution of cases. The Afghan justice system is one of the most corrupt institutions in the country. So many Afghans, even some who live in government-held areas, seek the services of the Taliban tribunals. Where are the files? Someone bring them to me. Today, three men have been summoned by the judges. The first two are fighters accused of using their weapons in a civilian context. So why did you fire in the air? I didn't know it was forbidden. Raise your voice. So you fired, but why? Were you celebrating? Yes, I was celebrating a wedding. Are you aware that you violated the rules of the emirate? I didn't know about the rules. I'm new in this area and wasn't informed. Well, we had distributed official letters to all the village elders. The commission has decided to disarm you because you disrupted public order. Firing in the air is forbidden. It scares our fellow residents. Do you agree that you have violated the rules of the Taliban emirate? Yes, I confess. <laughs> You, why did you fire your weapon? Because my friend had just returned from the front line. So you were celebrating? Yes. Didn't you know that firing for no reason is forbidden? I did, yes. I apologize for my actions and I will never do it again. Okay, but we have ruled that you will be disarmed until further notice. Sir, please come forward. The third man is accused of spending too much money on his son's engagement party, a punishable offense according to Taliban law. What's your name? My name is Haji Pashamir. Do you know why you've been called to appear in front of the commission? My son is a Taliban fighter and I was celebrating his engagement. Your son is a Taliban, not you. Yes, but I was celebrating my son's engagement and he's a Taliban. Being a Taliban doesn't give him any additional rights. On the contrary, people like him or even myself should be punished even more severely than other people because the Taliban's mission is to do jihad for the love of Allah. So if instead they cause problems for other people or if they fail to prevent wrongdoing, then they should be punished very Severely. Mm. Yes, I agree with uh, the witnesses. I don't deny that it ever happened. But originally, we'd only invited six people. Then the in-laws suggested that my son invite more people, more women. And my son agreed. I wasn't even there during the discussion. And now everything's on my shoulders. I know that we must abide by the law of the emirate. I love the emirate. And my son is a fighter of the emirate. So what? Those two over there are fighters. And we've just disarmed them. If it's proven that I've broken the law, I'm ready to be hanged rather than receive a lighter sentence. You say that you're ready to accept any type of punishment? Yes, I'm ready. But under one condition that I'm not found guilty without proof. Understood. We will continue our investigation.